Good weekend, all. I wraps in with your Spider ETF wrap up, and this is your weekly edition. And we are now on Saturday, the 9th of July, 2022. Now, before I go too far, do me a favor. If you're watching this, and many of you do on my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. But to subscribe by hitting that, every time I put these out, you instantly get them. A lot of you don't take advantage of our free offerings, so you're not on my mailing list where you get notice, and many of those people watch on our website. But if you'd like our free offerings, it is so simple. Just take your cursor at any point, move it up here, an icon will appear, give it a click, and away you go. Now, when I come back, and I'm going to go on vacation for a little bit, while I'm gone, you're still going to get these updates. That's the game plan. We've built the software so I can be out of the studio now, do things. You won't see my beautiful face, but I'll be there. So uh, nothing should really change. Google, nice rally, outside week to the upside, up 9%. Now, what is this week? Let me think. What have you told me? Ah, stock split week. A lot of people like to own stocks before the split happens. I think July 15th is the day. And it's a 20 for one split, so you're going to see this price absolutely crater. More people will be able to buy it. I would have gone 40 to one, but that's just me. And away you go. When we look at the chart, the trend is up going into it. Higher lows, higher high now. The resistance right above the market, the 18-week average of closes. If you can close over 24.15, well, that would be a, a, a pretty neat move uh, because that would give you at least an uptrend at that point. And the target could be the upper Bollinger Band. But the first things are first. The resistance is right here. So you fought a battle at the 100-week average, and now you're reaching for the 18-week average, and momentum is turning up, but the bias is down since you closed under the 18-week. I think that because of the split, the market is going to get the nod upside. In KBE, you have fallen into a big support area of the 200-week average. Now, if it gives ground, then the lower Bollinger Band comes in play. Did we embed? Well, you need both numbers under 20 for at least three weeks in a row to do that. You had one, two, and the next one, three. You got it. You got your, your necessary weeks. You even got more than that. So until the red line closes over 21, and if it does that, in fact, if it's trading over 21 on a weekly chart, you don't want to be short anymore. This is the area of the support. If that happens, I look for a rally back to the 48.36 to 48.37. That's where I think the market could head back if you lose the embedded reading. In XLI, I don't like the idea of being short. Beyond this, the 200-day average, lower Bollinger Band. Yes, you're trying to embed. Now, it doesn't matter. I'd wait for hard rallies to get short. If I miss it, I miss it. XLE, the energy. This was the cover week of shorts. You heard me, cover shorts. Why? First challenge of the lower band. We've been in a downtrend. You know it because you've been playing it. If you have my daily subscriber videos, you know what we've been doing on that. And boom, you're down to the area where I think you don't want to be short anymore. SPY in a downtrend, a lot of resistance at 409 to 41320. If it if the market's going to lift here, it's got to get first over the 393.16, and that would give you then a pattern of higher lows, higher highs, setting that test up. Do I think that there's a long duration to the upside? Absolutely not. Bear market rallies is all that I'm looking for in this market. GLD, you're down to the Bollinger Band, short covering. What you got to be careful of is another week where you close lower in the bottom quadrant. That would be a breakout to the downside, calling for 154.87. Temporarily, this is where I think the pros, I actually think they took money off the table in this area, but it did bounce back to what had been support, the 200, uh, I'm sorry, the 100 week average. That became the resistance, and I think they resold it. That's how I'd be teaching you to do it. In the gold miners, this is the Gorilla Glue trade. It's very bad. All you did is latch on to the Bollinger Band and you're staying to the right-hand side. That's real bearish. Until it loses that pattern, what can you do? And if it does come up, watch the 3044 level, the 200-week average. That should be your resistance point. In ARC, back here I was saying, I think this market has finally reached a plateau. I haven't changed my opinion. You don't have a trend. You have a lower, low, higher, high resistance, 50, 31. But if you can clear that and settle over that, you open the door to get back to 68. 
That's what you open the door for. It hasn't done it yet. So look for the battle at 5031. The point is it's having trouble getting back into the 32 area. In Apple, on the weekly charts, you're up to the point where I think the pros came out. Could this lift a little more? It could. It never did embed. It got downside momentum picking up a little. You know that if you can clear 151.74, about $4 higher, $4.5 higher, the next target's 153.10. However, if this week's low of 136.93 is taken out, I think you're going down for a, a test of 127.18, wherever the lower Bollinger Band comes in. In Tesla, did you notice that Mr. Musk said yesterday that he's not going to go ahead with the uh, Twitter purchase? It's interesting because Wedbush, who is at the clearing firm for my brokerage, um, they had come out and lowered their target on uh, Twitter to 43. Now, I don't think Twitter's going to fall apart. I just think they go a different route or they meet that bot demand that Musk has where he's saying, and probably rightly so, I don't buy that you only have 5% robots out there. And the information they're giving him why don't they, if they want to sell it at the, at the, the 54, prove it. He's not going to buy it. Yes, he, he can lose a billion in court over time. They're going to lose money. They got to fight him. Uh, if they win, they might get legal fees in the billion. But with his wealth, he dictates the terms. They don't. THCX, still to me, something that can go to zero. Yeah, these guys just can't get it. Now, I know the independent companies are doing phenomenal. Why? My neighbor builds facilities. He's doing one in New York. He's finishing now. 350,000 feet in upstate New York of pot plants. And this, my neighbor builds these all over the country. He's probably the premier guy. And uh, he just tells me, the guys that are private have all the money. It's the public that aren't. Interesting. When I look at TLT, fighting a battle, you lost the embedded reading. I thought you'd go to the 18-week average. You haven't yet. If you take out this low, then I don't think you're going to go down there. I think you got to be very careful. So I want to remind you one more time, all right, uh, that, and I thought that was the last one, that move your cursor right up to the top here. That's where you get the free offers. Hit subscribe. I'll see you during the week. Have a good weekend. I'm Ira.